any file format which supports executable code presents a security risk to users and Excel workbooks which contain macros fall into this category. For this reason whenever you open a file that contains a macro Excel will initially display a security warning. However as a developer you'll want to be able to switch this option off when working with your own projects. Let's look at how this is done. Let's go into the training folder and inside 01 getting started let's open up 04 macro security. You'll notice that it has the file extension .xlsm as opposed to .xlsx which is the normal file extension for Excel files and this indicates that either it already contains a macro or at least it has the potential for containing macros. When I double click to open it, Excel displays a security warning indicating that macros have been disabled and it's up to me to determine whether I want to override that and enable the content in this file. I can vouch for the fact that there is no malicious code within our training folder so how can we tell Excel not to display messages when we open files within that folder? For the moment let's close the file and then in the developer tab on the left hand side you'll see we have the option macro security. When we click on this this brings up Excel's Trust Center settings. These settings are not isolated, they're simply part of Excel's normal Excel options. Clicking on Macro Security on the Developer tab is the quickest way to get to Trust Center settings, but let me just show you the other way. If we go across to File and Options, this is where we have all of Excel's standard settings and to get to the Trust Center settings we click on Trust Center the very last category on the left and then on the right hand side this button Trust Center settings brings up the window the dialog that we were looking at just a moment ago so you can access these settings using whichever method happens to be the most convenient for you in Trust Center settings the simplest thing you can do perhaps is to enable all macros but as you can see here this is not recommended because you then don't have any protection at all Excel will never warn you when you open a file containing a macro so what's better is to use this feature on the left here called trusted locations when we click on this we have the facility to add as many locations as we want so I'm going to add our training folder location in my case that's on the desktop to our trusted locations. To do this click on add new location and then hit the browse button and navigate to the required location. So I'll scroll down to the Excel VBA level 1 folder and then double click to open it and click OK. Before clicking OK to confirm this addition it's very useful to switch on the option subfolders of this location are also trusted so everything inside the specified folder and all of its subfolders can now be opened without Excel displaying the security warnings. So now we click OK and here we can see the new item added to our trusted locations and I'll click OK again and a third time to finish. Let's put it to the test so I'll open that same file in 01 getting started I'm opening 04 macro security hello Grant Gamble pleased to meet you I am a security risk and our VBA code is executed and provided you have speakers and you have your volume turned up you should have heard a message which simply says hello followed by your username followed by I am a security risk and if I go into the developer tab click on Visual Basic here you can see the code that
that is actually doing this. If you don't see this code, by the way, simply double click on the icon marked This Workbook within 04 Macro Security. And this is an example of code which executes automatically when a workbook is open. And of course, we'll be discussing these techniques in detail during the course. For the moment, I'm just going to close. So the purpose of this video is just to show you how you can tell Excel not to display warning messages when you're working with your own VBA projects.